Hello everyone and welcome to Yoga with Rachel. Also welcome to day one of our seven day at home morning yoga challenge. I am so happy that you are here. Today's practice is all about easing into our day. So we'll be exploring some gentle movement and stretches along with breath work. Feel free to bring along with you a pillow or a blanket for today's practice and let's get started. Join me in a cross-legged seat. Feel free to sit up on a pillow or a blanket to lift the hips and to also create a little bit more space in our body. The name of the game is all about ease. So not only easing into our day, but also easing into our yoga practice. Right away, I invite you to really feel your sit bones rooting down into your item or into the earth. Perhaps you can really feel that connection of the outer edge of your foot connecting into the earth. Let's find ways to grow nice and tall through our spine by looping our right shoulder forward, up and back a few times, followed by the left side. And then tuck in the chin slightly, creating length in the back of the neck. Now allow your hands to just fall wherever they may naturally fall. So this could be on your knees, your thighs, or in your lap. Now I invite you to close your eyes or look directly past your nose. Let's breathe in through our nose and then breathe out through the nose or the mouth. For our practice today, I invite you to set an intention for your day. Something that you wish to cultivate. This could be a word or a sentence such as happiness, joy, self-love, or demonstrating compassion towards yourself or others. Perhaps you reflect upon this intention as we move here today, and perhaps use this intention, allow that intention to be with you throughout your day. Let's breathe in through our nose, Breathe out through your nose or mouth. You can open up your eyes if they were closed. Release your fingertips to the earth. On our next breath in, let's send our hands up and overhead. Fingertips come together. Exhale to float the hands back down to your sides. Breathe in, hands go up and overhead. Perhaps you look up this time. Exhale, floating the hands back down to the earth. One more time, breathe in. Really taking up space, spreading through the fingers, and then exhale, floating the hands back down to the sides. All right, let's draw some circles with our nose. These circles can be nice and small to start. Moving slowly, working out any kinks in the neck, any tension that may have built up throughout the night, and then reverse that circle. Wonderful, and then bring your head back over your heart space. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and allow your left fingertips to rest on the earth. Feel free to spider crawl your left fingers a little bit further away from your body for a deeper stretch in the side of the neck, into the trap, and then maybe even down the arm. And breathe here. Wonderful, shake that off, dropping the left ear towards the left shoulder, right fingertips kiss the earth. Again, option to spider crawl those fingers away from the body and breathe here. Wonderful, let's shake that off, aligning our head back over our heart space. Let's draw our shoulders up towards our ears on the inhale and then exhale to drop the shoulders away. Two more times, just like that, breathe in and out, breathe in, and out. So we can imagine that there's some weights attached to our elbows, which are allowing our shoulders to you know, fall away from our ears, the shoulder blades to melt down the back body. All right, place your hands on your knees on our next breath in, let's shine our heart center forward, loop the shoulders, reaching the chin on up towards the sky, still maintaining length in the back of the neck, Exhale to begin to round through the spine, drawing the belly button towards the spine, chin towards the chest. 
shoulders round forward. Breathe in to come forward, look forward. And then exhale, rounding through the spine, chin towards the chest. Breathe in to find a seated cow pose. And then exhale to round back through to a seated cat. So let's do a few more rounds of seated cat cows, following your own breath at your own pace. So this is a really lovely, gentle way to warm up the spine first thing in the morning. So if you really only have time for one movement throughout your day, I highly recommend cat cows, whether that's seated or on all fours. Spinal hygiene all the way. Gotta love that stuff. <laughs> one more round. Wonderful. Coming back to a neutral spine, aligning our head over our heart and then our heart over the pelvis. All right. Place your feet out in front of you. Knees wider and feet wider than hip distance. Swim your hands back and behind you. Let's melt our knees over towards the right. And it's okay if the knees do not quite reach the ground. If you're up here, it's all good. We're just working out any stiffness in our hips. And then over towards the left side. So we're getting a little internal and external rotation. Right. Left. Right. And then lift. Then bring the knees back to center. Bring the soles of your feet together. The knees go wide so they fall open. Let's take up some space here. So walk the heels a little bit further away from your body. So we're kind of creating a diamond shape on the inside here. Hands can rest on your ankles. Loop the shoulders and now let's flutter our legs. So lifting the legs up and down. Inviting the lower half of our body to soften and release. It's a very gentle hip opener. Wonderful, let's find some stillness here. Place your hands out in front of you, loop your shoulders and tuck in the chin slightly. You can imagine that you're looking at your reflection in a pond out in front of you. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and then on the breath out, we begin to rise on up, close the legs and then send your legs out long on your mat. Once you are there, place your um, heels so that way they're in line with your hip points, flexing the toes towards the face to really feel a nice, generous stretch in the backs of the legs. Hands can rest at your sides to support either fingertips on the earth or palms on the earth, your choice. Breathe in and out. All right, so now flex through your feet and then spread your toes nice and wide. And then curl the toes in, kind of like you're making a fist, but with your foot. All right, spread and flex those toes and then curl them back in. Two more times. Spread and flex, curl, spread and flex, and curl. Wonderful, flex the feet towards the face. On our next breath in, we send our hands up and towards the sky. Exhale to melt the upper body towards the thighs, bending at the knees, allowing your hands to rest either on the earth or if you can reach the soles of the feet. Breathe in to grow nice and tall through the spine and then exhale to round through the spine, chin towards the chest. Feel free to close your eyes and find a gentle sway from side to side allowing the head to grow nice and heavy here. Allowing any tension to spill off the back body, off the crown of our head and into the earth. Relaxing through the jaws, so softening the bite. One more loving breath cycle here. We breathe in and breathe out. Wonderful, fine stillness as we roll up through our spine, coming back to a cross-legged position. Great, draw the hands together and then in front of your heart and bow your head. 
permission to close the eyes or soften the gaze. I invite you to notice how you feel. Perhaps you can reflect upon your intention here and how you intend to carry that intention with you off of the mat. Firstly, thank you so very much for joining me here today. I'm so excited to see you for day number two tomorrow. Feel free to return to this video often, especially if you're looking for some gentle and easy movement first thing in the morning. Take good care, everyone. Namaste.